Oh. Whoa. An error occurred. An error occurred. Wait a moment. Then try again. Go live. It says, it's live. It says it's live, but then, okay, we're live now. All right. Good deal. Welcome back, y'all. I'm Darren Blue. I'm Kevin Blue. We are the Blues Brothers, and this is the amazing and talented oh, he got it wrong, Aaron Enderlin. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to do like the reverse thing. But yeah. thank you for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. We are it's excited. To be here with you virtually. Yeah. So where are you where are you playing out of? I am in Nashville in uh, my office. Okay. All right. Back to back Nashville nights for us here. Awesome. How long have you lived in Nashville for? Uh, almost 20 years now, which is hard to believe. Okay. Uh, Where, where'd you move from? Arkansas. Okay. I think your, I think your Instagram bio says Arkansas, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> is that because Arkansas is sassy or you're sassy? Uh, the Ar Arkansas is just the way of life, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you you've seen a huge evolution in Nashville then in the past twenty years. Oh yeah. What did you like most about it twenty years ago, and what do you like most about it now? Before the madness, of course. Well, I think I miss the Longhorn on Lyle Avenue most, which. Isn't exactly like I didn't know that Longhorn was the chain. It was so different that one, but that's where like all the people hung out and you could see like Bill Anderson and Montgomery Gentry and all kinds of folks would be down there just hanging out all the time and it was kind of like the Troy Gentry. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. So was that a venue or what was it? Because we it just moved just, here. People went for lunch. Oh, okay. And I mean, you know, I think what I miss most is we've seen a lot of my heroes and stuff kind of, you know, they're not with us anymore. And I feel so lucky that I got here when I did uh, to get to see so many of them perform live. And, uh, One of them's Merle Haggard, right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you the most the most natural thing that has ever happened to me. I was writing down on Music Row one day and I came out, was putting my guitar up in my car and I hear this huge horn and I was like, oh my God, I'm about to get run up. And um, I turn around and Merle Haggard's bus is parked out back and him and my buddy Ray who drove his bus uh, were there because he was recording some stuff and I, Merle hangs out the side of the bus and was like, get on up here, <laughs> come hang out with us for a while. And I was like, what? Like, but yes, yes, I will do that. <laughs> That's pretty legendary. Nice. So you got to hang out on Merle's bus. Yeah. Hey, not a lot of people can say that. That's for sure. That's for He's sure. Awesome. So you're an amazing songwriter as well. Uh, you're a talented musician, you're a, a, a Hall of Fame songwriter. Um, tell us, what do you, what do you want to start us off with here today? Well, I thought I'd play a song that I wrote called These Boots, which is kind of, I don't write a lot of autobiographical songs, which sometimes maybe I need to make sure that people know that. My husband gets worried that everybody thinks that I've like killed a bunch of people and <laughs> which I haven't. Uh, this song Thanks for is just the truth of the last couple years and some of the cool stuff I've gotten to do in, in music, some of the places it's taken me. And uh, I don't have a lot of love songs, so I thought I should write one. And my cowboy boots have been there with me through it all. So I wrote the one. All right. All right. Well, we'll let you take it away. All right. These boots look a little rough, yeah, they've seen better days. Hole in the sole and side stitching is frayed. These boots are just like me, stubborn as an old oak tree. Heels dug in, roots run deep, come sunshine or pain. I picked them up in Colorado when I played the rodeo. Push the pedal to the metal and down this long and winding road. 
If you want to get to know someone, walk a mile in their shoes. My heart ain't on my sleeve, it's right here in these boots. These boots get kicked out by the door, so they don't track in mud. Don't stay there long, no guess traveling's in my blood. These boots are tapping on As I watch some heroes sing my songs Every time I put them on They fit me like a ball I finally got to wear them Standing on that Alfred stage I walked the streets in Bakersfield Where Buck and Haggard played if you want to get to know someone, walk a mile in their shoes. My heart ain't on my sleeve, it's right here in these boots. Awesome. Well, I think uh, every country music fan has a special pair of boots. What's your favorite pair of boots these days? Well, I have several. Um, <laughs> I had some snakeskin boots, uh, but I can't wear them right now because they put them in the Country Music Hall of Fame, <laughs> which is insane. That's, uh, that's, a good, that's a good closet. <laughs> it's, a good, yeah, it's a good problem to talk about. Let's okay. go visit them and wave. Uh, you might have to... Well, you can't replicate those, though. You got to think you got to just... So what's your favorite pair of active boots? <laughs> yeah, that are, that are retired. Post, some other Dan Post ones that I really like. They're pretty simple, but they got some cool stitching on them. Cool. Maybe Dan Post can send me another pair of the snakes to wear for a while, while they're away. Dan, Dan, yeah. yeah. If you're listening, Dan. <laughs> Mr. Post. <laughs> Awesome. So what are you up to uh, these days during quarantine? What were some of the things you had planned and we're going to be doing it right now? Yeah, you know, I was going to be on the road doing some different things. And um, the well, I got to be I got to be included in the American Currents exhibit at the Hall of Fame this year. And so that kind of got it got pushed back because of the tornadoes in Nashville. And then now it's gotten pushed back for this. But the exhibit is there. And so once uh, we're allowed to move around freely again, folks can go there and check that out. And it's just so cool because, uh, especially because they put me in there with my hero, Reba McIntyre. Uh, oh, nice. So wow. it's pretty amazing. What yeah. did that feel like? It was incredible. And Reba couldn't be there um, for when the opening was supposed to happen so she sent me a really nice email and it was just like well, I, can't, I can't open my my head just exploded, <laughs> you know, from bed to, um but it was really cool and you know i'm i'm not you know the quarantine is kind of cool i've been learning a lot of new music uh checking out a lot of new things um and uh trying to learn to do some recording but we'll see if we looked at the last five songs that played on your Spotify, what would they be? Oh, well. Or uh, just give me, what, just give me something. Just yeah. give me something. Like, uh, some, is there well, anything that you've been jamming to? 
uh, maybe an embarrassing jam today is for some reason I have had the Johnny Duncan song, uh, thinking of a rendezvous stuck in my head. So, <laughs> Why is that embarrassing? It's not, I guess. <laughs> I think a lot of people in quarantine are thinking of a rendezvous. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Yep. Yep. I've been really awesome. jamming Ashley McBride's new record. I love it. Yeah. Yes. Had Ashley on last week. Was it yeah. last week? I don't know. I've lost that track last of time. Um, it's yeah, it's all one Thursday. day. I think that's how it works. Yeah. It's just a day with daylight and dark portions. Yeah. 100%. Cool. So what do we want to do? Do we want to take requests from fans? Do you have something up your sleeve you want to do next? Or what are well, you feeling? I could play a Merle Haggard for folks if they want, since it's Merle's birthday. Okay. If you can we take some can we have somebody request one for Merle? Let's see if uh, see if they got something that works here. So if you're watching right now, punch in your favorite Merle Haggard song. And while we're waiting on that, uh, appreciate everybody tuning in. We do have a virtual tip jar going on right now down below on the ticker, uh, Venmo. And uh, so if you if you want to uh, contribute there, we, we appreciate it. I know Aaron will appreciate it. If not, uh, hitting the share button is always appreciated. So if you're enjoying this, please do. Awesome. So let's see what we got. Misery and Jen. We got Dina Kemp or Dana, Dina, Dana. Howdy from Arkansas. Connor Smith. That's the way love goes. Freddie Baker, Mama Tried. Bob McConnell. <laughs> I'll leave you a case of TP. All right. That's also a <laughs> Hey, you can send TP money. Jess Duncan, I can be your whiskey. Jill Seymour, Misery and Jen. Uh, let's see. What about between Silver Wings Ooh. and uh, the way I am? Can we do a fight between those two? All right, let's yes, let's let's duke it out in the comments. Silver Wings or the way I am? Dang, I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna vote Silver Wings right now for me personally. <laughs> Good but let's uh, let's see what they say. Let's see what people say. Like how they immediately put in other songs. Let's see. Ramblin' Fever. We got That's two silver one. wings already. Why oh, I am sorry. I there's wrong. another. Jamie Baxter. Jamie silver Baxter. Wings. Oh, hey. Michael. What was it? Michael Nicole. Silver Wings. Silver oh wings, man, silver it's start, wings. starting to run away with it right now. Yeah. All right. I think that's the winner. I can muddle my way through many of those others, but I feel like Merle is such an intimidating person to try to cover in the first place. I want to make sure I do him, do him some justice. Love it. We'll get out of your way. Silver Shining in the sunlight, or rain and just hit it somewhere and fly. They're taking you away, leaving me lonely. Silver. Slowly fading out of sight. Don't leave me, I cry. Don't take that airplane ride. But you locked me out of your mind and left me standing here behind. Silver wings shattered in the sunlight, roaring and just hit somewhere and fly. They're 
Classic than that. Pretty. That well, I, I think that's, that's pretty solid tribute. I think he'd be pretty happy hearing you play that. Well, I sure love his music, and uh, I mean, he just—I think I don't know. It's hard to pick what your favorite part about Merle is, but his phrasing to me is so interesting. Which uh, I mean, obviously the vocals and. Uh, the lyrics and everything are so awesome, but just like the way he phrased it was so like, I feel like you could just hear that phrasing and know it was Merle. Gosh, I would love to know how your mind works when it comes to songwriting and all you that stuff. Do. Cause you're just <laughs> <laughs> you're next you don't level like <laughs> of just like the analysis of the words and the, and just everything. I can't, can't imagine. Can't imagine. Words are fun. No. So I see you got some pretty cool uh, things on the wall behind you. I see something from the uh, Grand Old Opry poster there and yeah. that picture just behind you. Is there a story to any of those or which one Which yeah, one has so, something interesting to it? Well, that poster is from the first time I got to play the Grand Old Opry. And um, this is Joey and, Records, Joey and Rory's record, His and Hers, and I wrote that title song. So they saved me one of the big flats that oh, you see nice. in the store, which is really cool. <laughs> and there's a little Leanne Womack tune, tunage over there. Last Call, which I was lucky enough to be a part of. So it's a pretty cool wall, is what, <laughs> <laughs> what you're trying to say. Yeah, I actually I had all my stuff kind of in a closet. And uh, my husband was like, you need to put that up. And I was like a little bit intimidated about it. I was like, and also like, I don't know, but he convinced me to finally decorate my office. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty dang cool. It is. Well, you're extremely humble. And <laughs> yes, uh, you are. that's pretty awesome because you've written some amazing songs. Where are some of the other songs that really stand out to you from your career? Just things that either you've cut yourself or that other people have cut. Yeah, so I kind of got my start, um, which is insane. But, and I, you know, I've been lucky enough to work with a lot of great people in Nashville who really, you know, welcomed me when I got here. Just a kid from Arkansas and, and helped uh, mentor me and get my songs in the right places. And um, my first cut actually was with Alan Jackson and Patty Loveless, the song called Monday Morning Church. And, uh, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> um, so that's a pretty good start. Yeah. How old were you when you got that that first cut? Uh, well, I was 19 when I wrote it and it hit the charts when I was 21. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I was so green that I didn't even know. I got a call one morning and it was like at eight o'clock. So I was, you know, I'd been out playing the night before and wasn't even up yet and they said uh well hi is this aaron you know um alan wants you to come to the show tonight and i was thinking what like alan who i don't know anyone named alan <laughs> <laughs> and i said well i got 
family coming into town tonight. Can I call you back in a minute? And as soon as I hung up, I was like, wait, Alan Jackson's playing here tonight, but I didn't even have money at the time to go buy tickets for that show. So I called her back and I was like, um, I think I'm an idiot. You didn't mean Alan Jackson, did you? And she was like, yeah. He said he'd leave you 14 tickets at Will Call, so just bring your whole family. <laughs> 14, nice. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it was wow. Crazy. Well, so uh, need, needless to say, your family grew that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but nice. uh, Jess, I think, actually mentioned one of my favorite songs I've written, um, I Can Be Your Whiskey, that's on my new record. Hey. Yeah. So what's the name of the record that came out in November? It's called Faulkner County, which is where I'm from in Arkansas. Okay. If you're if you're out there watching out in Faulkner County, now's your moment. Hit the comments here. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Give a shout out. How many people you think are in uh, Faulkner County? Uh, you know, it's grown some since I left. In the whole county, there might be like eighty thousand, hundred thousand, okay. maybe. Oh, that's actually a good size. It's kind of a bedroom. There's a lot of bedroom communities for Little Rock, so. Uh, a lot of folks move out there for their kids to go to school and stuff. Oh, okay. Out in the big city right. of Little Rock. <laughs> yeah, I I haven't been there personally. I haven't been through Arkansas. I'll, I'll no, really? Never there. been. Not yet. No, not yet. Well, sure it's, beautiful, it's an right? awesome state, especially if you like outdoor activities. Nice. Uh, it's a lot of beautiful camping places, and, and there's a lot of duck hunting. Nice. It's pretty great. Cool. Well, cool. you want to play that track off the new album? I'll do it. Awesome. Sweet. Well, here we go, y'all. I tune because I care. I can be that cigarette. I can. 
can drown that memory that you're trying to forget. If your loving cup needs filled up, she lets you bone dry empty. Baby, I can be your whiskey. Oh, baby, I can be your whiskey. That was awesome. Ooh. Love that song. Oh, it's beautiful. I, like it. I wrote that with my buddy Sarah Siskind. She is awesome. Nice. Well, we got some pretty amazing comments and feedback here from people. All kinds of likes and hearts and oh, thumbs ups and all that good stuff. Like we that. have one that's absolutely hilarious. Joseph uh, Gallagher says, "You're amazing." <laughs> And he says, she's more country than a wooden fence post in a tobacco field. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've heard that one before. That's, uh, I've never heard that one either. And it's hilarious. I love it. But it's all a compliment. He says, you're amazing. And uh, you're one of the most talented people we've ever had on here. So that's pretty, pretty amazing uh, compliment there. Thank you. Um, yeah, just all the way around thank you so much for being on here this is such an honor and it's also just uh quite a treat for everybody so my pleasure it. it's nice to see humans and play some music <laughs> myself nice. definitely you we had actually chatted for just a minute and uh i don't think we touched on it earlier live but you do have and hopefully things will be back to normal some dates with very badass woman coming up in the Heck future. Yeah. I'm going to be opening some shows for Tanya Tucker with the CMT Next Women a Country Tour and uh, at the end of August. Nice. Awesome. Have you guys been able to meet before? Or? I have actually. Um, I've gotten to see her a couple times and we were on a, we did the country music cruise a year or two mm -hmm. ago together. Okay. Uh, but I actually write with her daughter Presley and her her buddy Spencer have an awesome duo that I get to write with some. And cool. So. Are there any uh, when it comes to writing? What's your favorite? Where do you think like your best like energy for writing comes from? Is there a specific setting or like place or anything like that? Well, one thing that really. Um, gets me excited about writing is going out to see live music not that i'm copying okay. what's happening but it just makes you know like i love going to concerts and whenever i'm not out on the road i love to to get to go out and do that and it's just so inspiring to get gets the the writing juices flowing nice mm -hmm. do you have any favorite venues out here in tennessee that you like to go to or even you know nashville yeah nashville i love third and lindsley um, the Exit Inn, uh, the Bluebird, um, lots of awesome places. And, of course, there's uh, the Palace and the Opry. No, no. Good deal. Well, what do you feel for the, uh, the final song here that we do on Facebook before the Instagram encore? Let's see. You know, I posted this one the other day. It was my first video I ever got to do. Um, but it's a good old cheat and drinking song. I let her talk. So maybe I'll do that one to close us out here. Mm. Sounds great to me. Yeah, awesome. that'll be a good one. So for everybody watching, we're going to do one last song here. And then we're going to hop over to Instagram and do an encore. And um, you're not join us. Yeah, I hope you join us. Yeah, come on. Cool. <laughs> All right, All take right. it away. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna tune back up to regular. It's starting to get warm here, my guitar is a little confused about it. All right. 
I wrote this one with uh, the wonderful Leslie Satcher. She had two fish full of whiskey, three sheets to the wind, mascara running down the cheek. It was my first time in that. I was staring down the blades, Tennessee courage. I wasn't strong enough to drink. And she was pouring that heart and soul so loud, I couldn't leave the place. I let her talk about. Where she spent last night I let her talk about the married man And his soft green eyes The camera's drunk I'll show you pictures too So baby, I let her talk about you I swear I couldn't Talk about his wife at home. Doesn't turn him off. Let him talk about heaven until his kids are grown. Get him drunk. Tell the cone our truth. Baby, I let him talk about No Turn my way. Said, What brings you here? Said, I find about a feeling I couldn't prove. And then I bought her another round and another round and another round. And I let her talk about me. Thank y'all so much and meet us over on Instagram. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Aaron. That was really fun and we can't wait to do an encore on Instagram. Yeah. Um, I do want to remind people and also thank you for everyone that was commenting about the ticker down there. Um, we didn't have the hyphen in your Venmo. So if you guys were wanting wow. to tip Aaron, if you enjoyed it, um, I know a couple people corrected it, but just want to let you guys know that we did fix that. So there's a hyphen in the Venmo. Mm -hmm. um, so good to know. Uh, <laughs> yes. Very helpful. So the other Aaron Enderlin out there is probably stoked. <laughs> 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 um, but no, we had uh, some nice people in the comments telling us to just add the hyphen. So they found it. Um, but yeah, never, that was awesome. That I've never done that before. Lots of firsts uh, for me tonight. So. Cool. Well, you well, did amazing and yeah. it was awesome. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sounded absolutely beautiful. We did have a lot of people requesting, you don't know Jack. Oh, I bet I can do that over on. Can we do that on the on encore? encore? Sweet. All right. Well, thank All you right. guys for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate it. We'll see you on the gram. All right. See you there. At Country Rebel.
And what is your Instagram handle? At Erin Enderlin. And I do know there's not a hyphen in that one. No hyphen. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Erin. See you over there. Thank Bye. you.